I was gonna say good morning Vietnam. Where's that show from? Is is that what it's called? You know that good morning Vietnam. Okay, guys, it, like I feel like I just had like a real blonde moment right now. I'm like, is that the name of the movie? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's so good to see you this beautiful Friday. It is such a beautiful, I don't know what it is in your guys' world, but it's such a beautiful place here in Puerto Rico this morning. My girlfriend, Kim, how many of you guys know the 60-day challenge I'm doing? How many of you guys know the 60-day challenge I'm doing? I'm just curious who my people have been on Shand On Demand or been watching. Okay, what is my 60-day challenge? I want to hear it. What's my 60-day challenge? Somebody tell me what my 60-day challenge is. That's right. Okay, I got some winners in the house. No alcohol. Okay, so I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a real moment with you. No, I did not cheat. I actually have this very basic tracking sheet. It says 60 day no alcoholic beverages. It's one through 60. I got the date that I'm done so that I'm present to it, and I've got victory there. Okay, so I and I'm also tracking. I'm taking these um, Chinese herbs. So I'm tracking these Chinese herbs that I have to have these three teas every day. And so if you're on our email list and you see that this tracking is going out every Friday. And the reason why is because this is a tough one for me. This one, this one is a tough one for me, right? Like I already, I already yesterday, I did not break it, but Kim's here. Anybody, anybody know my friend Kim Challen? So Kim challenged here and like, she's like, could you have just waited for like one celebratory drink when I got here? I'm like, I know, babe, I know, but no. Nope. And her husband goes, I'm so thankful you're not drinking because I just finished two weeks of the oxygen baths and in California. And they're like, we're feeling good. But Kim's like, well, I could just do one drink. You guys get what I'm saying? And so, and so I feel great about it. But the night before Kim, came i was literally in a store and i saw blue cheese stuffed olives and i literally started to salivate around vodka and blue cheese stuffed olives i know if you're not a drinker you might not you need to put this into your chocolate or maybe it's into you know everything's different some people it's like sex it's chocolate for me it's vodka and and blue cheese stuffed olives i just love them so Long story short, so I've been noticing these little moments and it's a feeling, right? We're going to, we're going to hot seat seven, a seven figure hot seat today. And I tell you, it's the feeling that takes you in or out. I'm telling you, many people start strong, but they don't finish strong. I see it all the time, right? Like you guys have heard me for years say my last corporate job, I resigned and it took me a year to leave the company because I left them better than when I started. You know what I mean? Like I built, I built people in there. I had to build three people in and, and they were important roles. Do you know what I mean? And if I could have done it faster, I didn't have the leadership to do it faster. So that's just what it took with our level of inflow of business. So it's one thing to start strong, but your character is, is how you finished. Who knows that? Who knows that? Because a lot of people can start. You feel inspired, you journal, you're like, you're hungover one day, I'm never drinking again. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's been there. You had a bad relationship. You're like, I'm never doing that again, right? But but then there's the opposite. There's like, oh my gosh, like I, I, I really wanna get in shape. And then 24 hours later, you're off the game. Anybody? So it's not how you start. Starting, yes, is important, but many people can start. There's some that have a challenge with that that needs some motivation, but many people can start. The challenge is finishing and how you finish says your character. And you, guys, we can't run away from ourselves. So Rex Crane is one of the biggest people who inspired me to start setting character goals in myself. So it's not about being perfect. We all got some messed up stuff in our, in our character, but it's like, how do we keep getting better? So I got this 60 day no alcohol. It's up on my bedroom door. So every time I walk into my bedroom, I have a reality check and I write, did I take my tea, my workout, all of that type of stuff on here. Now, 
the feelings before the quit, and I want to bring this up before I open your mind to what seven figures could look like. And some of you guys are at seven figures and you should move to a seven figure quarter or a seven figure month or a seven figure weekend. Some of you guys have never hit seven figures and you're like, okay, I'm going to go to seven figures. Now, the truth is, is that there's some people who can start a business from ground up and hit seven figures in the first year. Okay. There's people who can start a business from ground up and hit seven figures in 60 days. From the ground up, no team, no money, no anything. That's why when you guys think it's money, like, okay, I'll invest in this coaching program or this VIP day or this house or this car when I have the money. I'll move to this state when I have the money. I promise you, you will never have the money. Because if you think like that, this is a big nugget. If you actually hear yourself talking like that, then you are already in the no options game because it takes a real sense of a white horse hero driving in to have a lucky moment. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? So it's actually creating, we talk about this in our leadership program, it's actually creating out of nothing and then, and then going after, going after your, your vision that everything starts to come together. I'm going to tell you where you're going to notice your feelings is, is, is going to demonstrate your character because when things get tough, that's when you know who you are. Do you guys know that? So if you're dating somebody or you're married to somebody right now and things get tough, maybe it's you that needs to check yourself, right? When things get tough, how do you show up? And that's your character. And that's the, that's the dial that needs to turn to be able to access more freedom. Okay, got me? So now remember the stuffed, blue cheese stuffed olives. So then yesterday, it's sitting at this amazing restaurant overlooking the ocean. And then I'm thinking we could go to this other restaurant for lunch, like, or to dinner tonight. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that restaurant is like the perfect restaurant for a margarita. I, this is ridiculous. Like, like literally I have got alcohol connected with all my fun stuff. Like, I know some of you guys might be judging me, but you got yours, okay? You got yours, whatever that is. Maybe it's you gotta have that piece of cake. You gotta have that one little sliver of something, right? Like, you know what? Please don't leave me out here like you don't got nothing. You got something. What is it? What is your thing? You got something. I can feel the judgers out there. Okay, so here's the thing. The feeling will either take you over and you will quit or the accountability where you have something like I always say, like I, the reason why I have a workout chick working me out is because honestly, I just I have tried to do it on my own and it's not working. Right. And so eventually you have to say, is really the problem my life or my schedule, or my job or is it me and me? I have much more power over than saying it's my husband or my kid or my wacky schedule or you guys get what I'm saying? So it's the feeling that creates the buy. Either the buy into, you know, you committing to something or the buy into people actually investing with you. Okay, so you so I want you to write this down because you must, you must be conscious when we create this seven figure plan, you must be conscious. What is the feeling people have? What is the feeling that even somebody emotionally gets into before they buy from you? And are you like a restaurant creating that feeling? Okay, there's some stores you walk into, Abercrombie and Finch, there's, there's a smell to it. They use smell, Tommy Bahama. You know, like there's a smell, like whether you're a coach, a teacher, a real estate agent, whatever, you can assimilate a feeling with your brand, right? And when you do that, people connect with that feeling. What is hardcore's feeling? Hardcore business. What do you think the feeling is when you come here? What's the feeling you get when you come to hardcore business, when you watch our lives online, when you come to our events, right? Zena says heart centered, inspired, unstoppable, cuddles, that's the name of our dog, a connection, right? Unconditional love, you care, inspired hunger, kick in the ass, inspiration, love, wholeness, connected, possibility, love and challenging, giving. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how there's a pattern here? So that's your character coming out. 
right? And that character creates a feeling. So last thing I'll say on this before I bring Tina up, I even sitting at the restaurant last night, it's very like, honestly, like sitting at the restaurant last night, I thought, shoot, my house in California is now booked at the end of the month because we airbnb it. And so for me to do the medical procedure I wanted to do on why I'm doing what I'm doing, I can't do in June. I mean, I could, I can go stay in another Airbnb, but like, we'll probably move it to, to July. And then I was like, I mean, technically I could start my commitment next month and have a month of playing with Kim in Puerto Rico, because all I need is two months. I'm not kidding you. I know I'm not the only one. You start to find ways to negotiate. You start to find ways to negotiate. Now, some people call negotiate an excuse. Some people call it justification. Some people call it smart. Some people call it like, well, I mean, it still works out. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you, it, the biggest mistake I have made in my entire career of building businesses was I started moving dates a year ago and changing my commitments. And it has been like nails on a chalkboard to keep myself committed in a non-negotiable. And I'm in it with you. What makes this a, a beautiful moment to coach with hardcore is that First of all, the vulnerability of me sharing this with you, we're hitting dates, we're staying committed, like we're doing it, right? And we have been doing it, but, but it has not been easy when the ads are not hitting right and, and it, they're costing double what they normally cost. Or when you have a new team member and, and you know, they want to, they've got a different way of doing things. You, you get what I'm saying? It gets complicated. And as it gets complicated, you really see what's my character. Am I all in? Am I going to pivot? Am I going to figure it out? Or am I going to take the pressure off? So I will tell you, if I did not have this piece of paper that I was sending out every Friday to our email list, the last thought was, I mean, I could do this procedure in July, which means I really could. And it's actually true. I really 100% could start this program a month from now, but that's not what I said I was going to do. But that's not what I said I was going to do. And so I'm, I said to Ash last night, I said, I need to write a letter to myself every day at the end of the day and tell myself how I feel with working out and not drinking and a new identity of my sparkling water and grapefruit juice while we're out and about and how good I feel and the new identity of who I am. But don't get me wrong, I'm going back to my wine, but not right now. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, like I just want to tell you, if you were not my accountability partner, Lance Armstrong had multiple, three coaches. Every pro athlete knows they have, they have a coach, two or three. Everybody who's into running, everybody who's serious about entrepreneurship, you have a coach. And if you're not serious about entrepreneurship, you're still trying to do it alone. How many of you guys know that you need a coach? Put me in the comment section. How many of you guys are standing on the line? Put the line. You're standing on the line, but you still haven't committed to a coach. Put the word line, right? You're standing on the line. Put the word line, L-I-N-E. Okay, you know you need a coach, but you're still standing on the line. Whether you have made a decision to work with somebody right now, or you haven't made time to interview, or you haven't, you get what I'm saying, you're standing on the line. You should write that, write the word line. And the reason why is you don't wanna feel like you're psycho. You don't want the devil to get inside your head and emotionally take you out that says anything about you. You wanna look in the comment section and see there's other people like you, but you need to pick a side. Are you gonna stay on the side of negotiable? or you're gonna become a non-negotiable. And non-negotiable says, I'm getting off this line. All right, my friends. So I say all of that to say, thank you for all my email list people, because today there'll be an email with a copy of my commitment. And I am currently on day five, and I feel like I'm on day 45, but I'm currently on day five, and it feels like a long way to 60. But I'm going to get there. All right. Can everybody give a hand to Tina? We're going to bring Tina up. Bring Tina up. 
Let's bring Oh them my up. God. Yay. I can't believe I'm here with you, Shonda. This is so amazing. I'm already manifesting. <laughs> So good. So Tina, uh, just to give, I have an outline of your results. Um, and so can so Tina is a client of ours, you guys, and meant to be live. And, um, and so she's who obviously I'm going to pour into because she's a client of ours, I'm going to pour into creating an ascension plan for her or a focus plan for her, so that we can see how can we move her to the seven figure mark. So Tina, just give them an update, a, kind of a timeline on what's happened since we've met, like where were you and what benchmarks have started to get hit? Yes, um, five months ago. The line, by the way. What's that? <laughs> From choosing a side, you got off the line. You, you chose a side that you wanted to coach. Yes, absolutely. And uh, and wow, what a difference it's making for me on so many levels. I um, Five months ago, I used to have 900 emails. So I, I would do workshops. I'm a certified coach and would do workshops within businesses uh, in person. And uh, so I had 900 emails and discovered your, your program list building, yeah. which I joined in mid-October. And I immediately organized and launched within three weeks, my first 21 day summit. Wow. And um, it generated 4,500 emails. That's incredible. So you guys, if you just um, let me do some math for you, by the way, I have ads right now that are costing me $400. Okay, like I want you to get this into perspective, right? We spend $10,000 a month on our ad team. We have we have ads right now that are, that are $400. This is why when we send something to the to a sales team member or somebody it's like, it's a big burn rate, if they're not operating pro. Right. So listen to me when I say this, you 4,500 emails. Let's just pretend she paid $15 for one name. Some of you guys don't even want to pay $15 for one name. You're like $15 for one name. Let me tell you, you treat that name on your list very differently. If you actually understood what it costs to actually bring them in. Okay. So think about that $15. So she would have paid $67,000. That's a real number for her ad, so she paid $15, plus she would have paid about $4,000 for an ad team. So to do that, she went to List Power Intensive, which I'm leading on Monday. So if you do not have an email mm, list, you, you gotta do go not there. have an email list, comment the word list right now, and I will send you a DM. If you do not have an email list, comment the word list right now. That's what her list would have costed her $71,000 to get into business where she's actually in a place that she could produce income. Because if you don't have a list and you think that your company's just going to magically get on Oprah, good luck. Good luck. And, and by the way, if you want to become a great author in the world, what do you think the number one question a publisher asks? What's your list size? By the way, they, they really don't care about your Instagram size. If you think I'm lying, go apply. And you can, you can literally say, oh, do you want to know my Instagram? They'll be like, well, yeah, sure. But they don't care. You know why? It does not produce the same as an email list. They want to know your email list size and your text message list size. That is question within the first 20 minutes, 10 minutes of a conversation with the publisher is they want to know that number. And, and honestly, like, like, they want to see a million people on your list. Like, I'm not saying they won't publish you without that, but I'm telling you, I have many clients who have become either New York Times bestsellers or, or, or top authors, right? Um, Sage Levine is one of them. And she went to Hay House. And if it wasn't for her list and it wasn't for her ability to monetize her list. So the list is one thing. I'm going to train that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday right? If you are in list power, right? And so that's one thing, but you need to know how to monetize that on the back end. Make sense? As Sage sent me a text message three days ago, she's gallivanting all through Mexico with a bunch of girls because she has real freedom. Okay. So go for it. So you built 4,500 people. Yes. And, and uh, as the weeks uh, went by, I, at the end, I sold um, those packaged recordings of my 21 day program. Uh, for $10,000, which I was surprised because I thought, you know, I had been told you won't sell many of those, but hey, that's pretty well, interesting. Advice like that are the people who are failing. It's never yeah. <laughs> the people who are winning. 
And, and by the way, the only people who give you advice like it's not going to work are usually the people who just have not had the character to follow it through. Mm, very well said. Now, so when you started with us, when did you start with us? Um, so it was mid October. I'm not sure the, the exact uh, date. So that was the list building program. But after that list building program in December, I registered with you guys with the whole uh, heart hardcore world, and I took on my uh, pod coach Stephen, who is amazing. Yeah. So that so basically what she did was she went she went October. She came in. She went to list power. By the way, I don't like. I'm asking. I know some of her stats, but I don't know this full timeline. Right, so October to list power. I also did not choose her. Somebody on the team chose her to come in. Right, so forty five hundred people, which 40, dropped to three thousand five hundred, though, which I was worried about. I was like, Stephen, it's going down. People are opting out. And hold on, just wait, Tina. Don't worry about that. That that's yeah. that's normal. It's like the cost of doing business. But that what would I say? That would cost her. What I say, you guys, who's listening? Go in the comment section. What I say that cost her? Ah, I got rid of it. Um, but I think it was like sixty-seven thousand yeah. dollars. Cost her. Then from there, she made offer list build, which means she monetized it while she was building. She made ten thousand dollars. Okay, now keep going. Yes. For for practicing. Yes. So after that, I went to, um, I, I made an offer, a, a small, low impact, uh, low end offer, and it didn't really land that well. And so I was like, hmm, okay. So with Stephen, that's when I hired Stephen, uh, a coach. And so he told me, okay, he was like giving me ideas of, of uh, workshops, you know, things to do. And so I did them all. And you know, in January, I made 5,000 off of that. In February, I made 11,000, which was to me was still not landing. It was like, it's as if I said, Stephen, I think it's my, or he said, I think it's the words maybe you're using. And so. You make in February? 11,000. Okay. Uh, and then he um he said you know tina maybe it's your words you know i'm french speaking i i it's in french canada and uh, france and europe and he said you know you could get a copywriter i said yeah but in my situation right now you know he said you know but you get you can ask find the best one and get them well actually he said find one that will accept to do 100 percent commission and i said all right so i went to see the best one in french and i said look you know, would you agree to do this 100%? I know you have a, a racehorse with me. You have no risk. You know, <laughs> I will. By the way, that's leadership. So see, I'll, I always say you guys have been following. Leadership is sales. When I when I came to America, I was not, wasn't able to work. I said, I, I went to the person. I said, I don't know Mexican food. I know this is a big risk for you. But I was like, I will be your number one best employee you've ever hired and i will take so much weight off you how many of you guys would love to have somebody walk into your life like that that's character same character that stayed with a company a, a year after i resigned uh, you know that's character nobody can take your character away from you do not yeah. justify becoming a jerk like because the way you go out matters the way you finish your list builds matters look at this wasn't landing for her she pivoted that's the character you don't settle for anything but greatness. It's 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 built. It's built in the blood, and you build it inside yourself. Okay, because there's lots of people who will stand by you to tell you to quit, or that you 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 like whatever. They'll they'll tell, leave that man or that woman. Leave them. You know, don't do, like if you gotta leave them, but leave them in a better place. You know what I mean? That's character. You can never get away from your character. It it comes back. Okay, keep going. So, so you hired the copywriter, just give it, I want to get to your hot seat. So, so yeah. Just give so, so she said, um, I said, all I need is help for you. You, your copywriting needs to book me meetings. If I get, you know, meetings with these clients that are interested, I will close all of them. And so suddenly she said, okay. So in eight, we, she did eight emails. So I posted the eight emails in eight days and I signed up 10 new people that I had never even knew at $3,000 each. So what did that come to? On Zoom. Yeah. What, what did that come to? Oh, 30,000. 
All right, guys. So she has done $56,000 as she's learning since October. Since October. Yes. Okay, so I want everybody, this is not an income claim. That's not, that's not what we're doing here. We're saying, like, are you making yourself a racehorse? Right? Like, are you, it, like, are you going after, this is, this is, this is leadership. You get what I'm saying? She's getting trained. She's applying it. It's not working. But even when it's not working, it's working. You know, this is exactly why Randy Zuckerberg, Mark's sister, said, I think it was, I think that's his sister. Her name is Randy. Um, I'm pretty sure that's his sister. She came to speak at one of my masterminds and she only invests in women owned businesses. And I'll never forget her saying, literally, I don't care about their business plan. I don't care about their strategy. I wanna know, do I have a resource? She wants to know what's the character, and those are the words she used. How have, they, how have they started business? Where have they worked? If I called the people that they've worked with, whether it's clients or corporate, what would they say about them, right? And so they're looking, she was looking for people, literally, she gets so many applications. She's looking for people that are like this because people like you win. And it's not that people like her don't fail. It's not that people like her don't get taken advantage of or don't have bad days or don't launch things that don't work. It's how she wires it up in her head and moves it forward. Do you know what I mean? Do you guys hear what I'm saying? I, I've, I speak about this all the time. It's character. Got it? So good. I'm really proud of you. Oh, thank you. But guys, you've been you've been so much a big uh, motor behind all of it because it had been a, a a hell of a three years with divorce and mother's Alzheimer's and so many things. And the COVID ruined my my mo business model. I lost in the six figures within just a few. It was just I paralyzed for a while until I found you. And I have so much gratitude. I am so ready to go to the next level. You have no idea. I'm so excited for you. Um, well, first of all, thank you for trusting me because you could have stayed in that paralyzed state and made it absolutely right to not move forward. You're averaging 11,200 a month. Even though, even though it's spread out, I just took five months because I took your half month in October. Um, I took five months and I divided this 56,000. So you're averaging $11,200 a month. I would say that's pretty fantastic, you guys. If you look at that right now and put that over 12 months, it's $134,000 and you're only halfway through. So if we multiplied, you're going to get stronger. But if we multiplied, well, you're not even halfway. Through. Well, let's just call it. So almost, uh, pre let's round it up to six months. In other words, you're, you're popping somewhere between 168 to probably 180 or 280, 268 to 280. So you're on track for your first year with us at 300,000. And I think, that's, I think that's fantastic. Right now, I think that's really fantastic. And um, what I'd like to see now is how can we take that 300 and pop it to a million? So what, so the first thing I'm gonna say is, what, what is your list sitting at? Is it sitting at the 4,000, 3,000? What's it sitting at? Yeah, 3,500 right now. Okay, so 3,500. By the way, she can create a million dollar business just off this. Okay, so we don't need to keep list building, but what makes it easier is to keep list building. Okay, because list building in its own is a, is a warm up campaign. Okay, so if you're just joining now, I'm going to tell you, if you don't have an email list, you need to be, you need to be in our Monday training, comment the word client, and we'll help you get more clients for 50 bucks. You guys comment the word client, and we'll literally help you for $50 for three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. And we'll show you how to build a client list. Okay. You need to know what she did. And so she jumped into it in three weeks. She made $10,000 right away. Again, I don't mean you're going to do that. You'll probably not do anything like that. I got to say that, unfortunately, with today's world and, and people wanting to sue everybody for, she said I'd make 10,000. Nope, you're never going to make it. You know what I mean? But go at least try. 
you know, like get yourself in the, in the game of trying. So many, it's like, I don't know how many people know that we do this and still haven't done a list build. I'm like, don't do that. Get like, protect yourself. Okay, so 3,500, I wanna see you get this list to 10K. And you definitely can. Okay, so you de I won't, don't stop there, but I'd like you to focus on getting that list to 10,000 people. And I would say by August. Okay, so you already do a good list build. So get like two more underneath your belt. And then you'll be over that 10,000 mark. So I'd like to see you have that by August. After you do a list build, obviously sell right away. But what price points are you selling at? 3,000. Okay, so her price points are at 3,000. So I would, why are you choosing 3,000 as a price point? I'm curious. Well, these three thousand uh, dollar programs—they're actually, you know, over a eight or nine week program. Uh, in French, it's um, it's considered high end, you know, for the French market. I think it's just instinctual. I just there a lot of things I would do is just like, okay, what do I feel, you know? And I tend to put lots of goodies in there too. So. Um, why don't you take your three thousand dollar price point and increase it to five thousand? Okay. Instead of it straight, putting it over, instead of putting it over the six or eight week, make that more like a three day, a three day workshop. You'll be able to put all of that in a three day workshop, and your clients will be happier. And here's why they're going to be happier. They're going to get all the information. How many guys would rather take eight weeks of your life to learn something or three days? just put in the comments three days or or eight weeks or six weeks right see see the feedback so actually it's um it's it's very often it will be like a, a three-day workshop and then like a uh you know a, a 60 or 90 day support program after so yes the information yeah that's great but, but i don't want you doing that if you're doing 90 days of support afterwards i don't want you doing that Okay. okay. Because, because so it's great if you do this three day workshop, but I don't want you doing this. And so it's time to start ascending out coaches or support. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why is guys, listen to me here. This isn't about, this is about the way you get financially free is to divide the work amongst other qualified people. Okay. There's, there's you, you do not get further ahead by putting yourself in a position where you're doing all the different items. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? So, yeah. so this can be people who have already worked with you before in the past that are just rock stars and they can actually support this program. Okay. Sound good? Okay. Yes. So it will not change your conversion rates at 5,000. You're good. Watch. You'll see it won't. So always offer the paint in full first. And then, and then if they're like, eh, then say, do you want me to make that a two pay or a three pay? Would that help? Hear those words. Would that help? Everybody should write down that words because you won't do it. Right? Would that help? And so you're like, it's $5,000. Great. Okay. So what credit card would you like to put this on? And they say, oh, I got to move some money around. I got to, would it help if I, if I broke it up into two or three payments? Would that help? Just like that. Half the time you guys don't know what to say. Because either you panic or you think I need to drop the price or don't do that. This is about getting comfortable with being in the tension. Okay, so don't worry about rejection. This is not your mommy daddy issues. Like, it's just stand in it. Okay, just stand in it. Okay, just say it. And they will choose because we are adults and we will choose. Right? And then we will figure it out. We don't need you to figure it out for us. The problem with society these days is we feel like we need to go figure it out for everyone. I say this all the time. I say it in our company. Do not go figure out people's payment plans. Don't do that because you take all the power away. It'd be like me still wiping my eight-year-old's butt. Like, do you think he's just going to bend over and say, just here, mom. You know what I mean? Like, you just, you got to, you got to give people their power back. And when you do, trust me, even if there's someone who has, have had, has had their power been taken away, they will rise up because they're in your space and you're holding that. Okay, wow. so you'll see that your price point won't change. Okay, so if you would have taken your eight 
clients that you did the other day, you would have done 40,000. Okay. Mm-hmm. And most of them will be a painful. Okay. So I yeah. was trusting you. Like, I, I like the, the reason why I say that is because, I mean, we just, I, I don't know where the number landed, but at a hundred enrollments, we had 14 people do a payment plan. It's why I always say like perception is reality. You, you're either going to suck at sales, be good at sales, or have all payment plans because of the way you think. That's it. Because the way you think is how you treat people. True. And how you treat people determines how they treat you. Does that make sense, you guys? You guys hear what I'm saying? Like how you see people is what you get out of people. Like, I do you understand that, my friends? Because it can change everything. You could just practice for even the whole weekend. Everybody you see, just ask yourself, where's their strengths? Where's their strengths? Like literally rewire your brain to see greatness in people. And it, it will help you when you get disappointed. At least it helps me. When I get disappointed or somebody doesn't do something that I was relying on them to do. Um, and there's very few people in my life that don't, that are not reliable. But if it happens, like at first you have a human moment where you're frustrated, but then you can shift. You're like, okay, like I see the strengths of this person. And it changes your relationships in a huge way. Doesn't mean everybody will like you. Doesn't mean everybody will talk great things about you, but it's your character. And nobody can take that from you. And money comes to high character. It really does. Okay. So, so 5,000 from this 5,000, you need to ascend people up to a higher price point. Do you guys realize that if she, if, if she, Okay. I've already got your number. <laughs> Love it. Your focus is on list building. Every month, do something or at least twice a quarter. Okay. You're going to end up with a list way bigger than that. But we focus on this $5,000 offer. Okay. If we enroll, 20 of these a month, you're at a million. Got 100K a month, okay? It's either a one pay or a three pay, period. So all you have to do is reverse engineer. You closed eight in how many days? In, uh, I closed 10 in eight days. Okay, so she closed 10 in eight days. If she kept that up, that's 40 a month. Okay, so now she has a copy where I do that. Now, she's not going to want to keep doing that because she needs team. So you need a couple of salespeople and you need to blow through them quickly. And I have not done that on our team. So I'm telling you, we have just learned from this. We're looking for superstars, right? So if you could close 10 in a week for 5,000, do you think another racehorse could? This is my strength is that I'm a very high closer, um, but yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I could find other people and, and train them if I need to. Tina, you're not, you're not, you're not a special case. There's, yeah. I'm a high closer. My husband's a high closer. You know what I mean? Who's a high closer? Put closer in the comment section. Who's a high closer? Put Holly's a high closer. Zena's a closer. Martina's a closer, Yvonne's a closer. You guys put the word closer if you're a closer, right? So you, the- I think it's more, uh, I'm feeling, um, to me is a privilege when I connect with them in this stage. I actually, I can feel myself resisting to let that go because I, it's- yeah. That's control, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm a controller. <laughs> You could be at $2 million if you stay the closer and you just have your copywriter and there's your costs, right? However, however, these people need to be ascended up to something. And it's, it's a, it's like a 12 K or a 20 K offer. I'm not kidding you. Yes, of course. Yeah. You're right. People, these 20 a month, Right. And the truth is, is this number easily could be 40 for you. 
right? Which then puts her at 2 million. Do you guys see the power of coaching? This is not a complicated plan. I look for her strength and I just, I just exploited it in a good way. And, and that's what a good coach does. Every single one of you guys has a superpower. Every single one of you has a superpower. Every single one of you. And if you have a good coach, they can put that superpower together and they can exploit it in a good way, right? So that you're focusing the idea. Here's what the, I know it sounds so rude when I say the middle class do, but I want you to get an, an allergic reaction to the middle class. Okay, like I want you to get that. And so um, the middle class thinks that I need to make enough money before I hire someone. And it's like ingrained. Mm. You know what I mean? It's ingrained. So it doesn't mean you haven't hired somebody and haven't gotten your your return on investment, but you have to dust off your shoulders and you got to go, okay, what was missing? Do you know how many people I have hired that I've not gotten a return on investment, even inside the company that it's actually cost me money? Many. I cannot just accept that failure. I got to learn from the wisdom. Do you know what I mean? Like it's the wisdom that makes us just great leaders is the wisdom. So I share this with you because if she told me that she, okay, my friend Joel Marion is amazing at copywriting. Why do you think Joel has been the copywriter in this company for so long, right? And then they exited massively, but he held the copy. Why do you think Jenna Kutcher does all of her Instagram and Jasmine Starr, they do all of their Instagram posts because nobody can do it like them, right? Why does Real Talk Kim do all of her own posting? She's like, here's every time I hire somebody to do it, they're unreliable. So they, so everybody has a superpower that when they're trying to pass it off, it's tough. You have a superpower sales. I just want it to stay on the front end so mm-hmm. that back end of talking to people, you can help more people. Yes. Do you see what I'm saying? So you could give yourself a 90 day exit plan. So by the summer, which means that over the 90 days, like between like this next quarter, everybody, we're planning quarterly for next quarter, right? Yes, you better be, right? So here's a smart, profitable, scaling the business move for you. In the next 90 days, I'm gonna have three salespeople and, and I'm gonna have three salespeople that work, okay? Now, this is not gonna be as easy as you think hmm. because, because you're going to have to keep your standard high. I shouldn't say that. Maybe you have better standards than I've had. Right. And so when you hire someone, you'll know in the first seven to 10 days. You'll know, you'll know. And so their character will show up. And when their character shows up, are they going to be able to hit 20 a month when you can hit 40? I would be happy with that. I would be happy with someone who could sell $25,000 sales. That's a million dollar producer for you. You give them. 15 or 20% commission, depending on your volume. Now you have a more sophisticated close, which is here. Yeah. That could be an application to all these people and you'll figure out where that is. Right. And that could be an application to those people, or it could be while you're training the three day, you can make the offer for this. Which would be one-on-one coaching maybe, or. It it could be. um, So here's what my one person. My 1% club here is 55,000. They are in a Voxer with me. So we are all in a Voxer. Who's in 1%? I know Holly, right? Um, they are in, they can Voxer me and personally, and we are also in a 1% Voxer together, right? And in the 1% Voxer together, that's another 1% quiet. I'm able to see what they're doing together and I'm able to, but they're communicating in the 1% boxer together. They have a VIP day with me every year. Yep. They have a VIP day with me every year so that everybody can see it, right? They have VIP day with me every year and they have the ability to sit with my board, which is the people who run this company, right? So if they're like, you know, okay, my company's grown to this and I'm having a systems problem, they can sit with Teresa. 
because I don't do that in my company. You know what I mean? Like, it's not what I do. And I should never do that because I'm not part of the middle class. So I'm not interested in in being a master at everything. I'm interested in taking more hats off as quick as I can, right? Um, I love sales. I love sales. I actually think sales is probably, I, I really do believe sales is the best job in the whole company because you can make unlimited amount of money and it really comes down to how ambitious do you want to be? Do you know what I mean? Because you know your character, you know the format, go after it, right? There's, there's, when I was in real estate, nobody gave me leads. I had to go find my buyer and I had to go find the product. In the coaching industry, it is so like, the sales team expects you to bring you the client. It's wild to me because it, like, but in real estate, you guys get what I'm saying? It's wild. So, so you wanna build that into your culture. And that's what we're trying to do now is flip it and build it into our culture where people, they go find, they go find people, like go find people. Do you know what I mean? Because there's people who want us. We have lead gen, we have Shanda on demands, we have webinars, you know what I mean? But there's people that you can see, right? You guys, like how many of you guys know, like I can tell by your comments if you need me, you know what I mean? Like you can tell in any of your industries, like if you're a parenting teacher or you're a real estate agent, I mean, like when I was in real estate, I could spot somebody. It was like I had radars, right? When somebody said, I'm wondering, I'm thinking about maybe selling my house. Boom. I'm right there. Oh, you know, my sister's thinking about selling herself. Can you do an intro? Like you're on it. You know what I mean? Because you are hunting in a good way. That's what makes, when somebody stops hunting, I don't want to work with them. Am I alone? Or anybody else see that? I don't want a doctor that's not continuing their education. You know, I don't want, I don't want a mentor that just is comfortable where they are. I don't want that. Right. And you shouldn't either. I don't want a husband that just wants to like chill out, but I don't want that. I want a husband that wants to date me. I want to date him and we want to get better together. You know, I, I don't want that. Right. And so do you guys hear me? It, it, it Nothing ever stays maintenance. Nothing ever maintains. It either goes down or goes up. And so many people don't understand science, so they don't get that. That's why chill is one of the most dangerous places to be. Cool. So oh. this, if you're, if you have 20 a month, which you're going to have more than that, because you're going to sell for the first 90 days. Okay. So you guys, she's going to sell for the first 90 days. So, but let's just, let's just call it 20 a month times 12. She's got $245,000 packages. You can do that three-day event every, every two months. Make the offer for here. You can do a paid application for $99 to apply to be there, or you can just make the straight offer. And you can try both and see, see what one you like, okay? Thank You're not you. worried about anybody taking this or not. And you build it, you build it the right, you build, maybe you have an annual event together, maybe you're a boxer, maybe you coach them twice a month. The, the package that you give is really based on your leadership and what do you need to give them to get them the results? Not what do they need from you? It's what do you need to provide them to get them their results? If, I, if my 1% needed, like I added office hours once a week for my 1% clients and they don't all use them but it is a way that they can just all ask me questions in front of each other. And if I run a campaign or do anything, I've got them in office hours once a week, right? That's not in their contracts. At least I don't think it's in their contracts. It's something I just added, okay? And so, and so that's 240, $5,000 clients. So that's $1.2 million. So you're already past my number. So who's, Somebody go in the chat right now and tell me, what are you noticing about this plan? What are you like, what are you noticing about this plan? Go in the comment section and put, what are you noticing about this plan? Okay, is it completely unreasonable to sell $25,000 packages a month? Not if you have a list, for sure not if you have a list. If you don't have a list, you gotta do Facebook Lives, Instagram Lives and, you know, like go into meetup groups and find somewhere to speak. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible because it's not, but it takes a lot of hustle away from the home. Okay. 
So now out of that, of that $245,000 buyers for the program you already have, you, you flip that. And I would say, I mean, honestly, I mean, it's really how many people you want to work with because you're going to have about 15% of them without a doubt, without a doubt that's on the low end. So you got 36, either 12,000 or $20,000 clients. Huh. And you probably will not want to work with that many. So yeah. I recommend you go, okay, not 12. I recommend you go 20 K. And so if you went 20,000 times 36, you're at another 720,000 and there's more in there. So there's another coaching session. This is why you need a coach, you guys, because there's another, this is money left on the table. Now, remember artificial intelligence is coming in. I don't want her to leave any money on the table. So there's an opportunity because we don't know if high end coaching is going to go away. We don't know any of that. So you want to bring cash in the door. This is not just for TNETs for everyone so that you can take that cash, flush it away and multiply it into something. Don't let it sit in the account, multiply it into something so that your investment goes up. I love real estate because in many states, it's it's a seller's, it's a buyer's market right now. I think it will be for, for a little while now, but there's some great deals to be had, right? And so I would be, I would be buying right with my cash, multiplying it up and seeing where my life is, the market is and all of that in five, five years from now. Does that make sense? So I, it, so 36 clients at 20,000 is a lot. Yeah. So it's a lot. She will be like, now we're back into her. It, she might as well stay selling because she will have no time. So mm -hmm. we have to think about as this starts to happen, who are people maybe in your industry that, that can actually come in? So my, my girlfriend, Alison Maslin, she just turned 60. She looks like she's 42. Um, Alison Maslin, she built all very high-end coaches very very high-end like people who have built huge companies she went out and just like hiring for a coo role or or you know what i mean a, a coaching vp role when you put an ad on linkedin or indeed you can find people you can write an ad for people just like you that can actually coach and then you could pay them to lead your version of one percent mm. you still have leadership in it but you can you can influence so um does anybody know um she does love coaching allison oh, allison armstrong allison armstrong has really great really great coaches uh Al, um lisa sasevich used to be one of her coaches i don't know if you know who she is but she you know she influences the overall strategy and the team implements it do you see what i'm saying so it, it, there, it's your leadership just keeps changing as it goes. So I like the idea of you doing something like that and not leaving the 36 on the table, let it stretch and then let you stretch to do that transition and then do 90 day transitions as you bring in new, like new leadership. Does that make sense? Yeah. So my love, you have $2 million sitting on the table and I believe you could actually hit that this year. Oh my God. That's insane. <laughs> so I get to, yeah. So I'm going to let that seep in. <laughs> yeah, so all, you, all you do is put your attention to changing the format to add a, a so you have your three day, which actually you already have. And I'd like you to make an offer on day two for a paid application. I'm just going to make a decision for you. So your mind stops spinning. Okay. And I'd like to make an application for $99 for, and here's how, all you said. For those of you guys who, who, feel like or know that you'd like to work with me closer. It's a higher end program. It's a much bigger investment. If you're interested in doing that, we're gonna drop an application where you can answer some questions. It's a paid application for $99 to be considered to be in this program. If it's not a good fit for you, we will give you your $99 back. And so that just pre-qualifies people right there because if they don't wanna put down $99, they're not gonna be a good fit. Have some good questions. What are the things you wanna know about them? That Because you're gonna share your time with these people for the next year. Right. And I think what you're going to find is that $20,000 is probably going to be too low and you're probably going to want to drive it up. But let's start there. And uh, your your non-negotiable target is $25,000 packages a month. That's your non-negotiable. OK, like I didn't do this hot seat for you not to do that. 
that hits your that hits your million dollar your 1.2 million dollar number so i'm two hundred thousand dollars over what you wanted to be at and if you did nothing else but that you'll be good to go the problem is is that there'll be people there that really do want to get closer to you and there's a moment because you guys can see at the end of this year beginning of next year somewhere this year she's not going to be able to do that high level program and so don't slow down the business because you can't handle it keep it going mm -hmm. stuff will fall apart customer service will fall apart things with client uh, client care will fall all these things will start falling apart it's not a bad thing yeah uh, my friend james says it's a deserved problem hmm. it's a deserved problem so when they start to fall apart you'll do things like i want to hire a business manager great place an ad for two weeks you know this way you have to be you can't be selling for longer than 90 days from now so after the summer your selling is on the front end not the back okay okay wow um, thank you so much that's amazing I look forward to what's that I feel like you can do it yes absolutely yeah this yeah. is I, and and it requires that I be that next level of me and yeah. and and I'm gonna have fun doing that so if I put this number at three thousand not five thousand you wouldn't even have that but then you're operating within your comfort zone because you can already sell 10 people in eight days at three thousand so with your copywriter so if you took 40 people a month you're still at 120,000 a month at 3,000 3,000 times if i go 3,000 times 40 people you're at 120 months so you're still at you're still great however look at this if you increase the price wow yeah so if you did not which I don't recommend you do. I, I recommend you offer those people an opportunity. That's it. Just you don't even put any pressure on yourself for it. Yeah. If they take it, they don't, they don't. It doesn't matter to you. You're well over your number. It's just the people who app, you don't have to chase them. You don't have to sell them. I don't sell 1%. I actually repel it. Like, hmm. I repel it at all. like I'm like, no more people. Like, you know how many times my husband says to me in a month, I have a perfect 1% client for you. I'm like, I'm going, well, I would have said I'm going for a drink, but now I'm going for a tea. You know what I mean? But like, like I'm like, no. So like, trust me, okay? Like these people are there and they know that you're their girl. And so you don't have to sell them. They already know, like they know how to work you. They know what they want from you and they're going to get it. Like those are your resources. You're, 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 let me think about it, drag my feet. That person's not, not going there. Do you know what I mean? So you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to sell your version of 1%. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? Like that you don't have to sell them. Yeah. They are, no. You just have to give them an opportunity and they are thankful to be with you. And those are honestly the best people to work, work with when you're, when you're sharing time with them. Cool. What I'm realizing is that I'm giving way too much into the 3000 right now. I'm already doing the voxing. I'm already giving so much. And so, you know, when I'm looking at the numbers, I'm like, there's no way that I can keep that up and add all those clients. Up. So that's where I, I need to readjust now. But this is why coaching is important because what's happening is you're forced to prioritize. Yeah. So the reason why people get their quarterly goals is they're, they're not prioritized, right? You get what I'm saying? So you're now being forced mm -hmm. to prioritize. Just got a really good hot seat. Okay. So I expect you at our zone event this year as a client sharing the stage and showing that you crossed over a million dollars before we even get to zone event. I'd love to see you go for the $2 million a year and stretch yourself and wherever you land in between one and two, you're good to go. But if you want to keep it stupid, simple and just enroll your 20 or 40 a month, 20 is a non-negotiable. I actually think you could do 40. And now you could imagine you guys, if she builds sales team, if she has five people that are all selling 20 a month, right? So she's got, she's got 20 times five. Now she's got a hundred being sold a month. Now she's got a hundred being sold a month. 
she's making half a million dollars a month. Now you go 12, you're making 6 million and that should be your year next year. So you're struggling getting good at hiring sales team because you already know how to run the, run the, the traffic. Cause I taught you that in the list power intensive program, you know, so, so we should touch base towards the end of this year at the mastermind, obviously meant to be live. Um, and just do what I say, don't let it be complicated. Just keep it nice and simple. None of this is outside what you're already doing other than offering an opportunity to work with you in a higher level. It's going to force you to prioritize. This is great. You can see team and sharing the workload is going to give you the freedom, but also the impact. It's mm -hmm. great. Sweetheart, now, my, my experience with, with uh, launching the, you know, that 20 day, 21 day summit, it took a month and a half of all of my time. Yeah, so see why you can't do everything. So you don't have yeah. to do a one day instead of instead of a 21 day. Do a one day okay. and you know only give yourself like clear your calendar for a week and give yourself a week to go after it and send 30 to 50 generator emails a day. And then what I would do is bring an intern on with you. Yeah, that does I'm looking for that right now. A yes. French one. <laughs> I tried with your team, but they are all English speaking. They're all English. I'm sorry. But yeah, so yeah, so it's like you you want somebody who is hungry again. You should put the word racehorse. You're a racehorse. You're a unicorn, right? Like my husband always says, you're a unicorn, Shanda, right? Like, and it's like, yeah, you need another unicorn. You don't, yeah. you, just working hard does not get the results. You need somebody. It doesn't. Who yeah. Have a, they have an it factor to them. And those are the people who developed an it factor in themselves, right? They're the ones who did it. So are you guys excited for Tina? Thank you. Thank Tina, you everybody. Game changer year. So good. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, girl. All right, Bye. you guys. Shanda on demand. It's Friday, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We are going to be dark, meaning that I will not be going on Shanda on demand. I'll probably pop on and do an earlier live, um, but I'm leading the list power intensive program next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So if you want to be in that program, comment the word, actually comment the word client. If you want to be in that program, comment the word client. Okay. If you want to be in that program, so we know. It's a $50 investment, right? Would you invest $50 to get anything close to what Tina just did, right? Would you invest $50 to get anything close to a result? I'm not saying get her result, but even eight, even 20% of what she actually got. I mean, it's power, right? And so if you comment or client, then we can hook you up with that, with a ticket to go to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's all virtual. So I do it on Zoom. We're good to go. Don't hesitate clear your calendar, even if you have to work, call in sick. Like you just, you need that information to make sure that your year's set up. So it took her, uh, she jumped into it within three weeks after that workshop, took her a month and a half to be able to get those results and make her first 10,000. It's a great deal. Like you wanna put yourself in a position where you're in the power, not in the worry, right? Not in the possibility. I want you to be in the power. I want you to be in the prosperity. I want you to be on purpose. So Shanda On Demand is a wrap for today. So much love to you. I'm really excited. Have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you next Thursday on Shanda On Demand. 